We woke up the next morning still in awe of the previous day. To witness a cheetah mom teaching a cub certain skills, being the only car with them as the sun set over the dunes, absolutely unreal. So we made a big call the next morning to go in the exact opposite direction, down to Tuerefiren and up the Mata Mata Road. So we packed our water for coffee, brushed our teeth and off we went. Ricky, what a view to brush your teeth with, eh? Hey? I know. Beautiful. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning from Roy Pits. We are officially on our way for our morning drive. We are going south this morning. I know most most of the guys are going north. We are going south back to Twitter Fear inside. Hopefully we can have the, the road to ourselves for about 40 odd minutes. When I woke up this morning I went to the bathroom and uh, I had a little rabbit join me, Reeks. That was very cute. Oh, and he has a jackal in the road. We woke up this morning with um, jackal though. They yep. were alarm clock this morning though. That sound is quite hectic when it's right next to your tent, eh, Reeks? Yeah, it makes quite a racket <laughs> and uh, it wakes you up quite uh, Instantly. Right, instantly. It's a nice wake up call here in the bush. Right, but well, let's yeah. enjoy. Let's see what we can find, Rix. Cheers, guys. We arrived at a viewpoint just past Homewood Waterhole, hoping to make some coffee. We were not allowed to get out of this viewpoint. It might have been a good thing though, because the wind was howling on top of this ridge. So we headed back to Tuerefiren for our morning coffee. We are here at Tuerefiren, just quickly came to stop to make some coffee and then we are going to go to the water hole here close by and just go see what we can find there. Had a nice morning drive, lots of birdies and then we're going to go back slowly but surely back to Roypit. Alright, see you guys on the road. So we are sitting at the water hole with our coffee and eating some raskies and there's this virtual sand grouse well a whole lot of them come go into the water quickly drink some water and then they fly off again but really quickly but it is like really quickly and there's this one that's not moving it looks like it's struggling i don't know if it's if it's like stuck in the mud i'm not exactly sure what's going on but it like it wiggles a bit and then just nothing it just stays but anyway so there's a few lanners flying around here as well so we are going to stick around oh, oh there he goes 
I wonder where it was, Riggs. Ah, oh, so the liner is not gonna catch him. Sorry, guys. Riggs, your first Khalakhari lion. Yeah, but it's a, it's an old one with a blind eye and it's very thin. Shine, yeah. yeah. It's not in the best shape ever, but it is a Khalakhari lion. We are the only car here. Um, we are on the Botswana side at the moment and he's literally right next to the road. We had to change lenses. This one is too, yeah. it's too big. It was too close, so Rex put on the 70 to 200. Yeah, he rolled over, now he's having a good old snooze in the shade. Just lying. Just lying around. <laughs> Let's enjoy him and then we'll go back to camp. Headed back to Roypitz, had some lunch, cleaned half of the Nossel Valley off of our gear, and with this wind, had a nice snooze. So we are going on a very, very short, quick evening drive. Um, we're literally just going to see if the, if the line is still there, and whatever we may see in between will be a, a bonus. And then uh, we're going back to camp and start our last fire at Roypitz. We are buying some scarp chops, some lamb chops and uh, it's been a brilliant stay at Roy Pitt. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, I will recommend it to everyone. Yeah, come down to Roy Pitt and experience the amazing sunsets and everything in between. guys so I'm just going to give you a little tour of Roy Pit. Um, at the back there behind me is the bathrooms and I'm standing in campground number six at the moment if I'm not mistaken we are staying in campground number five but I'll just show you guys the bathroom and show you around our camp um, so that you guys you, you guys know what to expect if you are booking here all right so in front here is the shower and then at the back is the toilet and here is the sink. Ropitz has water, fortunately. I wouldn't drink the water but it's good to wash dishes and so on. Shower with. Lovely shower. So before you come to the shower or to the toilet, you just have to check in the hole to make sure that nothing is in there. And then to say that it is occupied, there's a little chain that you hook up over here. Just to say 
that it is occupied. And then it has a little flap here that you can just close so that nobody sees you in the shower. It has hooks, you can hang up your towels and your clothes and your wash bag. And then when you are finished, then you just unhook. Then over here to the toilet. And also, you just have a look in there to make sure nothing is waiting for you in there. And it also has the chain system. That you hook up and you have your toilet with a beautiful breeze. <laughs> you couldn't ask for more. That is our camp over there. It's just a short walk to the bathroom and it is number five. Camp site number five has some big trees which offers nice shade in the heat of the afternoon sun. We weren't able to use our A-frame because the barn owls got there first, but the view from up top is still amazing. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in, so I can find myself. So that's the end of our Roy Pits, eh? Yeah. Hey Rix, how was it for you? No, it was absolutely fantastic. I um, really, really enjoyed it. Yes, I would definitely, definitely come again. So far we've made it quite well with just our little freezer. With yeah. The ice. Yeah. Uh, it's been good. No, it's been, yeah, it's amazing. The sunrises and sunsets here are absolutely amazing. When you, whenever you are here in the Khalahari, do yourself a favor, come camp. A few nights here at Roy, but it's yeah. absolutely worthwhile. And you can do it in your little canvas. I must say you're on edge the whole time, yeah. but I'm not as nervous as I thought I'd be because we've got quite a way to travel tomorrow yeah. to Pulenswa, so we want to be up very early. We'll probably still be dark as well, pack up the tent and so on so that we can leave to Pulenswa. The car's basically packed. Yeah. And then hopefully, we can, hopefully we can leave by 6 30. Yeah. Be great. Okay. So we'll see you guys on the road. To yeah. so I'm very very excited. So if we get a few rolls there at night, uh, our opinions might change about the canvas. We will we'll keep you yeah. informed. But so far it's been great. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. All right. Cheers. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. Press all the buttons. Cheers. And there it is. The end of our stay here at Roypitz. Luckily, we still have an amazing time left at Polenswa. If you are in the mood to see some lions, stay tuned for the next episode. Like always, we were still birding. If we misidentified one, please correct us in the comments below. We'll see you on the road to Polenta. Cheers. And there's this one that's not moving. That was a nice happy there, Ricky. Riggs, we are here at our view, blah blah blah. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was... That was a hoho. That's on the one hand. That was weird.